I am in such a unique, beautiful space, very present, very much heart, each breath, breathe in love, breathe out kindness, that type of energy. So anything that wants to expand on that, that's gotcha. where I'm at. That's good. So you're creating new habit, which is beautiful. So you're learning to be more and more present. And as that happens, you're in more of the spiritual observation mode. You're like, but what you're doing is, is your heart and brain are syncing up to create new tracks, new experiences, and that, that habit forming. So that if you, when you go into any life experience, you can choose to hold your cup of peace and go, no, I don't choose that. And, but you're not going to be judgmentally mental either. You're going to be discernment. You're going to be able to go, oh, okay. And you're going to understand a lot more about what's going on. Um, and your heart is saying you're learning about the values for yourself. And this is exciting. So what I'm looking at is that you're spiritually learning to be bold without fear. That means you're just being present can be bold. doesn't mean that it has to be a reaction outside. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So now spirit is saying that your purpose, you're starting to have more of a purpose-driven life. So um, I'm seeing a lot of crystals are setting a tone of a frequency. So let's say you sat in a copper pyramid with um, mm -hmm. crystal. Okay. <laughs> the one thing that I'm feeling is how the earth is telling you to hold space for it. Even if you don't know what it is, you already know that it's about being wholeness. So I feel like part of your purpose is not like, mine is this purpose but your purpose is to sit with these frequencies a little bit longer where other people may feel agitated by them but you're saying mm, you don't have to this is what it is it's all love and people are starting to i feel like you're around people that are beginning to wake up but because you're holding this i'm going to just say crystalline space the idea, other than what they know, starts to present themselves and they won't even know. So you're helping to unfold in some without saying a word. Does that make sense? Absolutely. The okay. Pyramid makes sense because I was shown to create a crystal space with the pyramid. <laughs> yep. That, they gave me that nice and strong. So that's yes. good. That's good. Okay. Um, I'm watching you falling in love with something that people can't explain. But you're not being distracted by the fact other people are there um, not understanding. Because you're starting to give off a new frequency. Which one are you doing? You're raising your G frequency. Now, that's more in the liver meridian type thing, okay? Mm -hmm. But what you're doing is you're saying, I'm this. Mm -hmm. Not I'm going to be this. So part of that scalar field where we share it with others, you're saying that I'm holding love. And I don't really have to show up the way you want me to. And when you do that, I hear this higher part of you is saying, ah, you're starting to understand certain personalities. So you, before you can dismantle some, you have to be. So you're creating, again, this very much strong wave. I feel like um, there's a part of you that wants to, you know what I mean by ga gamma brainwave? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. You know what yes. I mean by Kundalini? Yes. Okay. So there's a part of you. Have you been practicing to opening that? Yeah. Okay. Because it's quite <laughs> obvious what I'm seeing. I just want to make sure. <laughs> so what's happening is that um, I asked, have you had a gamma experience? And they said, yes. 
Okay. Yes. At, awake. Now I said, have you had a gamma experience when you're asleep? Yes. Are you, have you been consistent enough? Not yet, but I feel like I'm supposed to. And I said, ah, mm -hmm. so the crystals, the cilia little hairs around the pineals, um, you, you, you're learning to tickle the pineal a lot more so that when we use mechanical pressure, like breathing, because you want to pull the energy from the first and second and third chakra to move it up into the sixth. Okay. And once you activate the crystal inside of the pineal gland, then you're, I feel like you've like, that's how I've miraculously created a healing. And you're starting to get the connections. Like why, how? Because again, the habit is saying, this is second nature. You're done. You're done forgetting. You're starting to say, I'm remembering more and more. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Okay. Um, any other questions there? Or is I no. feel like, okay. <laughs> so I feel drawn. It's a yes and a no. I don't have the cards that communicate with you. So do you have a deck right now that you could grab? And what's happening is tell me when you have the deck and I just want you to shuffle it a few times. And then I want you to put down into three piles. Okay. And then I want you to pick the metal pile. Oops. Okay. Now I want you to take that middle pile and move it off into the corner. And I want you to choose, put one hand over your heart. And then I put one hand and you're going to start feeling uh, like warmth or vibration or something. And you're going to have your eyes closed and you're going to put your one hand over the uh, whichever deck, left side, right side. You tell me. And you're going to be just a few inches or an inch, maybe. Yeah, maybe an inch off of it or get closer. You choose. Now, I want your hand to go clockwise and you're going to start putting um, you're going to suck from Mother Earth. So feel the energy from Mother Earth coming up, touching the Min Men, which is just the, the point on the back, the opposite of the belly button. And then I want you to come up to the heart, and I want you to all of a sudden feel the energy come to the brain, come down to the heart. Now, your, your awareness is in the heart. And becomes the eye of the heart. And now you're going to put it over that pile, and you're going to feel, which feels like um, love. It's not love. It'll feel the opposite. So take a second and just play with me for a minute. <clears throat> okay. So now, now that you've done it, you feel the activation of your heart eye in your hand. Yes. Okay. Now, <laughs> I want the heart eye to say not matching. So I need you to feel the not match. Well, you know what I mean. Ooh. Got it. Okay. Now memorize that in your brain. If you can use descriptors, tell me what the knot feels like so you can understand that when the brain, because you're going to end up using your whole body so that it can, nope, it doesn't match. It doesn't mean you have to pull your aura. Okay. But you're like, mm, thank you, spirit. Your aura don't yeah. have to go in. So tell me. Yeah. So the not match was like a shock, like a carpet shock, you know, that oh. type of shock. Okay. Okay. Where the match actually uh, warmed my hand and I felt it into my being. Ooh. Okay. Good. Good. So now she's got a descriptor. So we're going to start building this new framework. So what's going to happen is now you're going to say, thank you, spirit. So you're going to now say, thank you, spirit. My message, my message for my heart from Mother Earth. I'm going to get a message from Mother Earth. Okay. And maybe even Father Sky. We'll see. But what she's going to, oh, yeah, the Galactic, they just moved in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I it's actually called stepping through. Okay. Stepping through. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to kind of, with your heart, you're going to feel which one's um, from Mother Earth, okay? So you're going to put your hand over either one. You're going to find out which one's from Mother Earth. 
And you'll, again, look at how you know the connecting. And nope, it's not. And then you're going to tell me whether it's left or right. Right. So now the left one is sky. Now, you're going to then kind of double check. Because we want to, because I feel like you could be more in sync just a little bit. There you go. Because remember, we're using the heart. Feel that connection. Feel that. There you go. And you should then feel that because we want to make sure that the card we're there communicating is the card, which will always be anyway, but we want that good alignment. Okay. You with me? <laughs> so it'll love to see your face, but that's okay. So you're going to go <laughs> on the right deck. You're going to not look, but you're going to slide off and it's the fourth card. So you're going to remove three and the fourth card you're going to push that over away, and then you're going to test whether it is matching or not matching. <laughs> mm, matching. Hey, now don't turn that over. No, we know that's from Earth. Mother Earth is giving you a message. No, guy. Okay. However you want to call it. I'm just going to use my language. You know yours. So now you're going to go and you have four Father Sky, though. You have to go down to the eighth card eighth card i don't know how thick they are but oh that one got a giggle out of me uh -oh. <laughs> oh, i think oh th this will be fun and then double check to make sure it's the correct card and if you all listen i'm giving you a new tool how to do things so. yeah yeah <laughs> getting it but i you know you all can do it too now she's going to take the two other piles and she's just going to put them on top of that other so she's just going to move this aside now we know that mother earth so flip it up you know how make sure you flip it don't correct it if it's upside down just flip it and tell me what you see a butterfly with wings okay so, go ahead and it's called Express Your Truth. <gasps> so Mother Earth is saying Express Your Truth. So part of her purpose is she's going to learn how to express her truth. Now, flip over the left one. It's called The Sound of the Universe. <gasps> so she's going to learn how to express her truth by getting into the right frequency. <laughs> and they are fully supporting this. Yes, this is no. just incredible. How oh do my you? God. I got full body goosebumps. <laughs> Good. I want to give. I, we're, we want to soak this in because she just did it. I did nothing except for direct her, and she just goes, "Okay, this is simple." But she allowed. She gave herself permission to accept, use her willpower, and to believe with her coherent self. That's heart brain. Heart's going, oh my God, I'm happy. Tell me anything else that pops up. The, what's interesting is the other two cards I pulled, one was called Freedom with the Dragonfly. Wow, oh, cool. And yeah. the other was the Safe World, the Core of Creation. It's a set of wings with the sun. So, there yeah, you, there you go. There you go. I was going to say there was extra cards for support, but you're already around the ball. She didn't need me. I can't say got this. Okay. So was that, was that an okay reading? Oh my gosh. Yes. Thank you. It, it just really confirmed where I believed I was. Yeah. And I'm going to help you hold that space. Apparently father sky and mother is too. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. They, they got you this so you're all i can say is i can feel the beaming oh it's my there we go feel the beaming going up and down that beautiful figure eight uh it, you're like in harmony right now and they said she's holding it and and it's sweet as it she's holding it because a lot of people can't hold it for uh like 10 seconds so you're training your brain quite well and i love it i love it thank you Oh, you're welcome. And thank you for everything you do. And we will talk to you later. Okay.